Hello everybody, the Drow here, getting ready to run a little uh, Homeworld Deserts of Carrick. This is going to be the beginning of hopefully a nice series I want to run, uh, wherein I will play Homeworld Deserts of Carrick. So, let's begin. Uh, so, let's see here. We're just going to start at the beginning. We're not going to bother with the campaign tutorial. I know how to play. And we can start from here. Epsilon Base. Must admit, I'm a fan of the color blue. Not sure why, but the very beginning of this video looks pretty well, pretty a little rough. Must just be the Our subtlety of light. Is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. Otherwise, the cutscenes in this are absolutely awesome. It's a great idea. This painted style that they're doing looks gorgeous. And here we go. So, yes, uh, this game does um, play as a prequel to the original Homeworld, uh, the very first one. Um, you are on the planet Karak, which is the one that you start from in the campaign of that game. Um, so, mostly desert themes and really big vehicles, which is awesome. Absolutely adore large vehicles. It's If you've seen any of my stuff um, you would recognize that from my playing of uh, spin tires just how much I love a large vehicle And there's the PC, seen in the distance. Galtian attacks have been launched against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch of our expedition carrier, the PC, has been accelerated. This is the captain of the jet carrier, PC, all crews, Hangar 5. Stand by to initiate rollout sequence. Bringing systems online. We did a great job of building a complete online. world. Resource control system online. Unit status online. Command system online. Objective tracking online. All right. control systems successfully installed and online. Look, she turned on my carrier. Fantastic. Redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is Fleet Intelligence for the Expedition Carrier, Capisi. 
I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. So now I gotta build myself a salvager! Oh, look at that. Look at you. Little treads and his little squiggly medoodle and his grabber arm. Cargo bay on the back. Oh, he just drove right through that barrier. Ah, well. Not gonna be perfect. That was easy. Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. Waiting orders. Okay, time to roll. Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. Get that unit back online. Move. Repairs. Initiating repairs. Yes, there's some um, there's some conversations going on in the background at the base. For combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first okay. step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Manufacturing Once facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. So the interface is, is a bit different from um the homeworld series it takes some getting used to if you're so used to the homeworld uh games well, i'm gonna make you number seven just to let you know there we go light attack vehicle one too many light attack vehicle in service look at that that's adorable and they pop out everything Light attack vehicle online. They're so cute. Light attack vehicles ready. They're not real. They're gigantic, technically. But, uh, kind of cool. To target and destroy the drones located here. Tracking hostile. In action. A little dusty here. <laughs> Those things slide about. Let's move. All required tests are complete. Give me a go, they drive no awesome. go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science teams in place? We're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. There we go. Strike craft ready. Sajet carrier Capisi. We are go for launch. Launch and command confirmed. Understood. Prepare to launch the Fire all charges. It's engaged launch. Go for carrier. And we launch the Capisi. Outer doors opening. Mass ratio in line. Tracking go. Quite the machine. The question is, is something like that actually physically possible? Or would it crack in half under its own weight? All stations, this is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draki object. Lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory, we believe it holds the key to our survival planet. The journey will be perilous, but if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. 
Sounds good to me. Let's let's do that. All right. Incident report. Expedition Control carrier. Log. Science officer Rachel Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As yeah, the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right. That what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. So, yep. Yeah. Um, move on to the next mission here. Uh, no contact with Gaussian forces. Confirm rendezvous order with Lander 607 at the Boneyard for receipt of the sensors module. So, apparently they were starting a little on the early side, and their main carrier does not have the sensors suite on it. So, that's what the next mission's going to be about. Is that. So, oh, we can do that. More loading. So we got a long ways to go here. Searing flats, that sounds wonderful. We have successfully entered the open desert and are safe, for now. Yeah. Before leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Oh, they're mad with us. Attention, Kithid of the North. I am Kagan, of the Kith Gaussian, servant of the mighty Kahan Sajuk. For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Karak. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the sensors manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the north itself, now rests on us. Fantastic. Boneyard Control, this is the PC. Request immediate clearance to dock. Copy, Kapisi. We've been waiting for your arrival. You're clear to dock. Crews are standing by. I'm get some feedback here. I'm gonna keep the audio levels down. I'm glad I'm getting any feedback with that. forces are inbound on our location. We don't have long before they arrive. Rachel, you and the support cruiser need to reactivate the decommissioned units using your repair beams. Copy that, Intel. The storm to the south is growing in intensity and has turned our way. Light 
attack vehicle in service. Responding. Location marked. Salvage are ready. Fleet Group 9 assigned. PDA active. Ready for assignment. Maintenance protocols active. That unit is down. Get it back up and running. Crews are ready. Maintenance All personnel to stations. Com, new intel on Galaxian operators. Extract and begin updating your system. Copy. Strike right and check. Arms. Fleet Group 1 assigned. On our way. Be ready for pretty much anything. Go for Capizzi. I don't want to get too crazy with these light attack vehicles because um, I believe that I'll get another vehicle. I do want another salvager there. Light attack vehicle online. Acknowledged. Oh, I get them. Don't die. Stick with your command. I don't want any materials coming off that are going to compromise the op. We just received a transmission from Northern Command. Oh, goody. They have confirmed that multiple coalition bases have fallen, including Delta, Juno, and Alpha. Here is under siege. It appears a Zedin carrier, the Sakala, also managed to escape. We are to rendezvous with her and continue on with the expedition at all costs. Additional groups of contacts detected and closing in. Perimeter turrets engaging enemy units. Keep those Gaussian forces away from the Capisi and continue to gather resources and units until departure. Be advised, Class 5 Sandstorm detected on approach. Go ahead. Op ready. Move order confirmed. Reading. Move order confirmed. Fleet Those guys together. This is the next uh, unit in our arsenal, the armored assault. They're tiny little tanks with a bigger gun. They're slower moving, but they're very effective against these light guys. Take advantage of the high ground. CU field depleted. Those turrets took care of that. The Gaussian attacks will continue. We require additional forces. Setting a staging point right here. That's collect more CUs and build more LAVs immediately. All right. That was let's a move. Button. Well, let's do that then. Um, does the home space. button work? Check your fire. Yes. So we'll build a couple more of those for now and do some more resourcing. Capisi, you can get to the Capisi, can't you? What do you need? Oh, you know what? Add to group so nine. Light attack Strike vehicle. Add to group contact contact one. Detected. Possible survivors from Epsilon or nearby bases. I hope they make it. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Where? Push up to that point. There they are. I just saw them. Light attack vehicle online. Armor vehicle take Allied armor assault vehicles entering your area. Taking hits. We need immediate assistance. Be advised. Allied armored assault vehicles are deploying smoke screens to break enemy line of sight. Good to know. Unidentified contact. Designated hostile. Fast attack pattern. Full speed. Go back them up quickly. Hostile strike craft down. We've got hostile on senses. Confirm visual. What was the play? In and out. Hang well, in. That wasn't visual. too Coordinate bad. Operating. Copy. Escorting support crews. We're ready for orders. I just set harvest button. Capisi copy. Are they just stuck Barrier down copies. there? They are. Well, that doesn't ready. help. Where is the support uh -oh. carrier? Galcian heavy railgun spotted. Stop it. It will have difficulty targeting our units at short range. 
Our LAV's inherent speed and quick boost ability will allow them to close on enemy units quickly. Use this to gain the advantage. Warning. Stormfront arrival in approximately seven minutes. Target down. We are clear. Transferring to your control. Allied units acquired. The more we save, the stronger we'll be as we enter the desert. A second flight of friendly interceptors is passing through. Keep your crosshairs low. Hammer, get us over there. Alert, a turn post just went down. Look at these things. They're uh, interesting looking, that's for Enemy sure. Real gun eliminated. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Ready. Receiving. Copy. Escorting support crew. Reference three vessels are now taking apart. What are you waiting for? Hostile strike craft down. Control room two designated. Here we go. Another situation we settled. And uh, everything looks pretty smooth here. Access engineering to select upgrades. New upgrade options to improve our light attack vehicles are currently available. Awesome. Great. Upgrade those. That's great. Unit survivability by investing in engineering upgrades. Armor copy. Target to front. So let's just research essentially. Essentially. Built into the capisi, so you have to select it, but you can do that easily by pressing the home key. Saves a lot of trouble. Uh, what are we doing? Do I want? We'll do one or two more light attack vehicles with what's left of our resources. Fleet group two assigned. And just keep an eye on the map. Prep for this light attack vehicle in service. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. A turret is under fire. Deploy smoke at designated target. Armor copies. Fire smoke screen! That sandstorm is closing on us fast. Five minutes until storm front impact. Punch it. We gotta go. Copy. Target set. There. Smoke screen protected does. Destroy. Acknowledge guarding support crew. Green line strike craft taking Operate. effective fire. Reading. Contact on the board. Wipe them out. Receiving. Receiving. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. That's making short work for them. Alert. The turret post just went down. Gun on. Steady fire. Armor ready. Contact. Move to fire. Salvager has been engaged. Don't you that guy. System is ready. Hostiles I didn't need that crossing. third salvager. Hostiles designated. Trackers in sign. Go ahead. Underway. That's great. The Just holding this low ground here. It's not ideal because upper Delta ground, Delta high ground is actually very crucial in this game. Order the allied light attack vehicles to use their quick boost to escape the pursuing Galfian. Forward drive, punch it! There. No line of sight. Get with the other guys. Hostile designated. Mark Baron. Fleet group one assigned. Straight enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. We read Not you. Control group one designated. Way. Eh. Move to intercept. Get them back. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Now that we have the advantage in this. Strike craft destroyed. Fire on the move. Cleared for move. Okay, we've got armor online. Copy copy that. Scanner signal maximum. Storm front arrival in approximately three minutes. We're running out of time. Armor copy. That'll keep them safe as they try to crest that armor hill. Armor vehicle is taking fire. Armor side. Move to intercept. Hostile railgun, they've opened up. Reading, punch it! Inside of the terrain. The railgun can't reach us. What are you waiting for? Fire back on! Boneyard, Capizzi. Allied armor group on approach. We're under fire and need immediate support. Target, readjust! Support is on its way, people. Down. I'm ready. Reading! Guard order confirmed. Ready for command. Copy. Coordinate set. Ready. Unit secured. 
Salvager, I think I did. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. Ready for orders. We've lost another salvager. Recommend construction of a replacement immediately. Capici is ready for immediate egress. Ground units, eliminate remaining Gaussian forces and prepare for departure. Troy, enemy railgun firing on friends. New heading set. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. We're ready. Stormfront arrival in one minute. All crews, prepare the Capiti to move up. Strike the Copy that. I see. We've detected something. But Can it you should be okay. Okay. Now they're Armored vehicle is taking fire. Lay down a smoke screen. Throw off any hostiles in the area. Salvager has been engaged. Receiving. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Go ahead. Confirm move. Set new heading. Send message. Was a little risky. Imminent. Unit back. All right. Bring engines to full and move out. And that's that. We are now leaving the area. Wind speed in excess of 300 kilometers per hour. Copy that. Engaging full shutters. Expect impact on my mark. In three, two, one. Mark. Sandstorm. Fantastic. All right. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. Our refit is mostly complete, and we're now headed for open desert. Several coalition units were able to link up with us and have joined our ranks. Successful rendezvous at the Boneyard. Contact with Gaussian forces. Evaded main fleet by entering storm front. So that's good. They got away, and uh, we'll move on to the next um, mission. So uh, follow us next time when we we will uh, move on and see what how they fared after the windstorm.